Hey everyone, hope all is well. I really wanted to make this video much sooner than I have, um, but at the same time I wanted to wait until my health was much better and therefore I had a much clearer mind to express my thoughts and feelings. Um, I want to dedicate this video today to a great man, um, a fantastic video blogger um, and a huge inspiration in my life, uh, Peter Oakley, who was also known as Geriatric1927 on YouTube who sadly passed away last month. Um, even if you don't know who he was, um, I urge you to check him out because his content is all online still. And to um, listen to this story, I have to say, because um, this man um, was the reason that I became a YouTuber in the first place. <laughs> It was the summer of 2006. I was on the latter half of my gap year. I had just spent six months working at a ski resort in France and I was in the kitchen of my parents' house. I was living with them at the time. And while here, I was passively watching BBC News on the television. Um, but there was one particular story that caught my eye. It was about um, an elderly man called Peter, Geriatric1927, who had posted a video on YouTube that was getting millions of views called First Try. He was just introducing himself to the world. Um, and I was just blown away by it. He went against this stereotype that all elderly people are technophobes. And I found that really inspiring. So I went online, checked out the video, and it was when I was first really exposed to YouTube, how it worked, and also the community that existed. It was incredibly tiny then, but underneath his video was a list of video responses. All these different people around the world did their own videos of their first try of doing um, a video blog, introducing themselves. And it just blew me away. Between the fabrics of these videos was this YouTube experience. And so I made my own video. It got a few views. Um, and people said that they liked what I had to say and the rest is history. I ended up making regular content because of this man uh, who had decided to put himself out there. Um, and over the years, um, we got chatting. As I said, the community was very small um, and I actually was privileged enough to go and meet Peter. I drove up to see him uh, and we did a, cl um, a collaboration together where we discussed um, closing the generation gap. I was really fascinated about you know the fact that an elderly man and a, a really young guy met up and we could do a video together. Um, again, going against stereotypes and especially at a time where traditional media was all about you know how young, the the young are troublemakers and also you know there's a lot of stigma with the elderly. We kind of wanted to break down uh, those boundaries. Um, Peter was. Um, an incredibly lovely man. Um, he was just so very inspiring. Over the years, we kept in touch via Skype. Um, we had regular conversations. He would always speak to my parents as well. Um, and uh, he always saw himself as the YouTube granddad. He was always there for people that watched his videos. He would tell these fantastic stories. And... Uh, I, I was I, f I found it a privilege that he would take the time to watch my content. Um, but over the years, unfortunately, um, we spoke less and less. I think there was a few reasons for that. The main one really being that um, I started off as quite an immature video blogger, which um, you know he put up with and he was totally cool about. Um, and so it was when I did these sort of serious videos that we really got on well. Uh, and managed to have some great conversations. But then, of course, anyone who's watched me over the years realises I have become increasingly serious and more politically active, more of an activist, very anti-establishment. And I remember one particular Skype call we had where he said that, you know, he doesn't uh, want me to worry. And, you know, he was just really caring and looking out for me, but I knew it was really what I wanted to do. And so... Um, we had less and less to talk about and you can't regret in life. A part of me regrets that we didn't speak more often. Um, we were going to Skype chat last year at some point, but we kept missing each other. Um, and then unfortunately, um, I heard the news in February that he was taken in because he was ill with cancer. 
Um, this was shortly after that I had received my head injury. Um, and so I was completely gutted by that news. And um, I was planning on going to visit him when I got better and could, you know, drive long distances. Um, and unfortunately, um, I didn't get better in time uh, and I didn't get to go and see him. And I probably hadn't spoken to him properly in over a year. And I say you shouldn't regret, but deep down, you just wish that, you know, you can always have made more effort to establish connections. But at the same time, me and him had a mutual respect that we were doing our own things. And um, a phrase that uh, another hero of mine told me is a friendship should not be defined by how often you speak, but whether uh, the fact that when you do speak, the, the connection is still there. It's the quality of the connection is still there. Um, and that was definitely true with Peter. Um, we exchanged words from time to time. And uh, he was a great man, um, inspired so many people, so many people that went on to inspire others. I know I've been lucky enough to encourage people to become video bloggers and it's just a massive knock-on effect. Um, he really is the granddad of YouTube. He um, made so many people all around the world, you know, consider this technology. He truly believed in it. And every talk I've given about my YouTube story, even job interviews, I'm starting my new job at The Guardian soon, um, when I spoke with them and they asked me to explain everything, I always start from the beginning. The video I saw of Peter Oakley, um, Jerry actually 1927, and how that was one of the many eureka moments in my life where I thought, um, this is technology worth investing time in, um, and this really could change the world. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to dedicate this video to Peter. He'd done stuff like the Zimmers. He was a very humble guy. Uh, in the very early days, he was swarmed with so much um, publicity because of his video. He was offered to be flown all over the world. And what I respected most about him was he said, you know, the fame doesn't matter to me. And he turned a lot of things down. He says it's about the connections you have with real people. Uh, or sorry, the real connections you have with real people. Um, and I know that that's an ethos I definitely carry with me. But then as time went on and things died down, he did, you know, wish. He, he, he On reflection, he realised how much he enjoyed um, the, the large exposure, to, you know, because it's more people to inspire and share his stories with. And that sort of learning curve was one that I had as well. I was very much about, oh, it's not about, you know, views and exposure. But then you realise that it partly is. Um, it's about getting the balance between, you know, getting exposure and having your integrity. Of course, if we can get more people tuning into what we do while staying true to ourselves, then there's nothing wrong with that. And uh, we learned a lot together. So, um, yeah, I was... Uh, I'm incredibly gutted um, that he's passed. And being someone who has lost friends, I know through YouTube before, I know the really strange aspect to this, which is their videos live on. The content they have put online will be a part of their legacy. And Peter's legacy will exist within the hearts and minds of people he has inspired, myself included. Um, and those... Uh, people that, you know, as a knock-on effect, get inspired um, because of, of them. Uh, so I just want to say um, <laughs> out loud, um, Peter, I love you, man, and uh, I will never forget you. I will never stop telling this story. And um, I don't know how to end this, but um, people should go check out his videos. He was an amazing man, as I started off saying, a huge inspiration and one of the greatest silver surfers um, that surfed this World Wide Web. <laughs> Goodbye, Peter, and uh, adios. it really and uh, uh, sort of in conclusion 
uh, I would say my possibly final goodbye. So, goodbye.